Hi everyone, welcome to this vlog. Uh, just thanks for all the likes and comments on our last vlog, The Birth of Narrowboat Soulmates. We were chuffed to see so many people interested in that one. Yeah, and today we're doing something just a little bit different again. Many years ago, we used to go to the Sydney Biennale with all the art and photography. We went to a Pecha Kucha night and uh, Ali will explain just a little bit about what that is. Pecha Kucha started in Japan back in 2003 and it was a way of doing short sharp presentations where um, mainly in the workplace where they could share ideas and the whole basis of it is 20 seconds times 20 slides so just under seven minutes presentation and yeah we really enjoyed it when we went to the Biennale yeah, there was a theme and everyone had a go at it and we thought why not try it with this vlog yeah, so we're going to give that a go. We'll return to one of our cruising vlogs, as you'll see at the end of this vlog, next time. She's Ali. He's Pete. This, this is Vega. And this is Narrowboat Soulmates. More to explore. We were very fortunate to spend eight months on the Langoflin and Montgomery Canals from 1st of November 2019 until we got off on the 1st of July 2020. During that time we stayed at 51 different moorings and today's presentation we're going to take you through our top 20 moorings that we enjoyed. In Rembury we really love the two pubs, they're well worth trying and of course they've got the automated uh, lift bridge when we went through, it was the middle of winter, cold, rainy, but a bit of blue sky. And when we came back, we had the hottest day of the year and you could see all the weed and reed growth. From our beautiful remote mooring at Marbury, it was just a short half mile or so walk into the village where there was a, the Swan Pub. Unfortunately, it was closed because of lockdown, um, but there was a fantastic church. We had a great look around there and behind the church, we could see the Marbury Mere. Absolutely beautiful place, well worth walking to. We stayed on the arm at Whitchurch and it's a very interesting town. Some historic buildings, a lovely park to go for a big walk. And they've got some nice pubs there, I can tell you. And uh, it's well worth staying on the arm there. And they even got a new oldie for you to visit if you like going there. Out at Tilstock Park, we stayed by the lift bridge and we could even park our car right by us. And it was a short walk down the road and across um, to Fens Wood, which is another area of special scientific interest and there was a lovely little mere there as well and an old railway course. One of the stops we made was at the junction of the Priest Branch, well worth a visit down, only a couple of hundred yards long, but uh, definitely a lovely nature park down there and the marina. We also went to Wixall Moss and that was very interesting seeing the site of scientific interest and there's an abundance of swans. I think anyone that's been through Hampton Bank will recognise this beautiful little house. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, yeah, that was just after we crossed the, the bank itself. And then we uh, moored up on the nice visitor moorings with the, the small lake and the fields behind us and watched the sunset each evening. Gorgeous. Here in Colmere, it's the only mere that you're able to walk completely around and it's easily accessible from the canal side and you go past this gorgeous uh, thatched cottage uh, which is beautiful. You can also see the boats on the lake and it's a very, very green area. Well, isn't Blakemere just something else? Absolutely stunning location. Uh, looks like it's got loads of mozzies when we were there in the summer months, but yeah, just absolutely beautiful. And we enjoyed the local geese and goslings. There were 12 goslings came past us every morning past our side hatch, and it was just glorious. We really enjoyed our time here. At Ellesmere, you can see Telford's house on the junction. Well worth a look at that. And if you go down the arm, you're near to the shops. There's a Tesco. We love being here and uh, the history of the town, as well as visiting the actual mere, which you can get about three quarters of the way around. Val Hill and Tetchell. 
This was our saving grace during the first lockdown for COVID from March through May. We spent all of our time here during lockdown and we just cruised to Ellesmere to use the services and came back here. It was nice and remote. We had the towpath to ourselves most of the day and Ziga loved running here. At Frankton Junction, you go down into the western arm on the Montgomery Canal, which is a beautiful canal full of wildlife. And we saw the best sunsets that we'd seen all along the Langothlan Canal. It's a beautiful spot. We did see some frost though on the boat. As Pete said, we love the Montgomery Canal as well. And being down by Maysbury Marsh, um, it was a great base from which to walk to the end of the line um, at Gromwen Wharf. We left the boat and we walked over to Crick Heath to see all the restoration work happening. The lift bridge was great and we even did a walk to St Winifred's Well. Along the canal towards Hindford, you get expansive views over the countryside. We found a bridge that had disappeared. Let us know if you know where it went. And friends joined us for a lovely cruise towards Langothlin. Yeah, plenty of rural scenes to enjoy along this section. I really love the rural setting as we pass through New Martin four times over the eight months. It was just a great place to be. The water point was handy. It was a very lovely, quiet mooring. Um, there is the time, though, where Pete got the boat stuck on the weir that I was a bit nervous, but he did a great job in getting it off and on our way. In Roswell, which most people know as Gledrid, because it's where the po poacher's pocket is, we survived two of the storms. Storm Chiara was the worst, but we managed no problem. Uh, lovely views here. We saw some snow and a very beautiful area to walk into Chirk. One of the little gems we discovered while staying at Chirk Bank was the Bridge Inn, the last pub in England before you cross the border into Wales. Um, and obviously being at Chirk, we also, we walked under the aqueduct, we cruised over the aqueduct, we went through the tunnel and we even got to check out the nearby um, Chirk Castle, which is great. In Fronkisilti, you're on the approach, of course, to the aqueduct and we managed to get a photo of it across the valley. You also get to see the railway viaduct and the lift bridges on the approaches. Very popular spot. After leaving Fronkasilti, it was just a short cruise over the mighty Poncasilti aqueduct. I was terrified at the time. Pete loved it. All our friends have loved it. Anyway, we've done it a few times now. Um, getting over the other side into the Trevor Basin was a bit of a tight squeeze through all the Anglo-Welsh boats, but what a fabulous place to be on Christmas Day. In Llandyn, we felt we were right out in the middle of the country. We could see over the Dee Valley. We could see Dinas Bran on the horizon, and it was absolutely beautiful. Lots of people walking the towpath because it's so popular. We had the lift bridge, of course, to go through. But yeah, we just felt we were close to nature. And now we finish up with a place where my heart lies. Yes, my most favourite place I've been to in the world so far. Beautiful Langothlin in Denbyshire, Wales. And I just absolutely love the roaring river going through the middle of the town, climbing up to Dinnisbran. We went to Plas Neward for a look and we walked down to the Chainbridge Hotel. Well, thanks everyone for watching this vlog. Hope you enjoyed the Pecha Kucha style of how we presented it. And uh, we're trying to keep it short and sweet. But yeah, we're thinking of maybe using the same style to do the top 20 mooring locations for the other canals that we've been on. Um, but yeah, we'd love to hear your feedback. Let us know whether you prefer this or something different. Any uh, comments gratefully received. As Ali said, we love to get your comments, so yeah, please comment on the vlog. In our next vlog, we'll be doing some comparisons on our trips up to Langothlin, so you can see how it changed over the time, and you can see that in this current photo and video from the next vlog. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog. If you did, click the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, click the subscribe button. And if you'd like to know when the next one's out, click that bell. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. See you next time.